South Africa is known for its cultural diversity, scenic beauty, and dynamic urban centers, but it is also home to some of the world's wealthiest families. These prominent clans have left legacies in a variety of industries, establishing global empires spanning continents. Their influence extends across industries such as mining, finance, real estate, and technology, establishing them as trailblazers and pioneers in their respective fields. They have amassed vast fortunes while also becoming symbols of entrepreneurial prowess and innovation. Their stories are about more than just wealth. They are about visionary journeys that shaped South Africa's economic landscape and continue to inspire future generations. TR Media explores cutting-edge frontiers and transformative initiatives for new and curious audiences interested in the evolving global innovation landscape. We examine recent breakthroughs, providing in-depth coverage of their far-reaching global impact. In today's video, we'll be exploring the 15 richest families in South Africa, taking a closer look at their history, businesses, and influence. We'll also delve into their wealth and what sets them apart from the rest. Let's dive right in. 15. The Ferreira Family $420 million Jarrett Ferreira, originally from South Africa's Western Cape Province, began his career in finance after graduating from Stellenbosch University. He began his career as an analyst at the Industrial Development Corporation of South Africa. Ferreira co-founded First National Bank in the early 1980s with Paul Harris and Lord Stippenard. This venture later evolved into First Rand Bank, which is now one of South Africa's leading financial service providers. Along with this, he established RMB Holdings, which eventually merged with First Rand Bank, both of which are part of the First Rand Group. 14. The Ramaphosa Family $450 million, South Africa's current president, Cyril Ramaphosa, has left an indelible mark on the country. Born in Johannesburg in 1952 and raised in Soweto Township, his involvement in the anti-apartheid movement began at a young age, and he rose to prominence as a student leader during the 1976 Saudo Uprising. Ramaphosa has a successful business career in addition to his political endeavors. He established the Shanduka Group, a vast conglomerate with holdings in mining, energy, and real estate. He previously owned a McDonald's franchise in South Africa and served as MAN's non-executive chairperson from 2001 to 2013. 13. The Gore Family $480 million Adrian Gore, the founder and CEO of Discovery Limited, a major South African financial services company, founded the company in 1992 with the goal of revolutionizing health management. The company's offerings have grown to include everything from medical insurance to life insurance and investments. Gore's leadership has propelled Discovery into a major player in the South African financial sector, earning him the Frost and Sullivan Visionary Innovation Leadership Award for Africa in August 2017. 12. The Ackerman Family $500 million Raymond Ackerman, a prominent businessman born in Cape Town in 1931, spent his life working to expand his retail legacy. He transformed the pick-and-pay supermarket chain, which he acquired in 1967, into a vast and prosperous enterprise with at least 870 stores across South Africa, Zimbabwe, and Australia. The Ackermans' wealth is largely due to the success of the pick-and-pay brand and its diverse network of stores and subsidiaries, which has cemented their position as key players in the retail industry. 11. The Dipinar Family $610 million Lawrence Dipinar, a well-known South African banker and entrepreneur, was born in Pretoria in 1940 and began his career as a chartered accountant. In 1977, he and Paul Harris and Jared Ferreira co-founded Rand Consolidated Investing, which later became First Rand Group. Dipinar demonstrated exceptional leadership and philanthropic commitment while serving as chairman of First Strand. From 1992 until the establishment of First Strand in 1998, he held a number of pivotal positions, including executive chairman of RMB. Dipinar served as First Strand's first chief executive officer until 2005, when he became non-executive chairman. 10. The Mouton family won billion dollars. Jenny Mouton, a Cape Town-born South African entrepreneur, 
began his career at POC as an article clerk before becoming a chartered accountant in 1973. He was a co-founder of Seneca, Mouton, and Kitchoff stockbrokers before being fired as managing partner in 1995. In the early 1980s, he founded PSG Group, which is now one of South Africa's leading private equity firms. 9. The Saltzman Family Won Billion Dollars Disgen was founded in 1978 by Evian and Lynette Saltzman, two prominent South African business figures, particularly Evian. Diskem, which began with a single store in Johannesburg, has grown to over 100 locations throughout South Africa and is known for quality, fair pricing, and exceptional service. Evans over 40 years in the industry have solidified Diskem as a trusted and beloved brand with plans for continued growth. 8. The Gray Family Alan Gray, a well-known entrepreneur and investor, made a fortune in South Africa. Born in Cape Town in 1940, he began his career in finance after developing an early interest in business. Gray founded Allen Gray Limited in 1973, which is now a leading investment firm with assets worth over 600 billion rand. Despite his death in 2019, his sons William and Andrew are carrying on his legacy by overseeing the company's operations and philanthropic efforts. If you're enjoying this video so far, then like and subscribe to TR Media. Do not forget to turn on notifications so you get notified whenever we upload videos on fun facts about Africa and the world at large. 7. The Saad family St Steve is a businessman who founded Aspen Pharmacare, one of Africa's largest pharmaceutical companies. Durban is where he was born. South Africa, where he was raised in a working-class family. Stephen began his career in the pharmaceutical industry, where he worked for companies like Pfizer and Squibb. He founded Aspen Pharmacare in 1997 with the goal of bringing affordable quality medicines to people all over Africa. Aspen now employs over 20,000 people and offers a portfolio of over 500 products. The company is well known for its emphasis on producing low-cost generic medications, which has had a significant impact on the lives of many people across the continent. 6. The LaRue Family $1.9 billion Michel LaRue, born in Stellenbosch, South Africa in 1950, is a seasoned entrepreneur and the brains behind Capitec Bank, one of the country's largest retail banks. LaRue founded Capitec in 1999, and it quickly rose to prominence as one of the country's leading financial institutions. His fortune stems primarily from his successful banking and finance career. Capitac Bank has received numerous accolades, including being named the world's best financial institution in the 2016 International Banking Advisory Group Lafferty Bank Quality Rankings and South Africa's most cost-effective financial institution in the 2015 Solidarity Research Institute Bank Charges Report. 5. The Becker Family, $2.3 billion, Kois Becker, who was born in South Africa in 1951 and raised in Pretoria, rose to prominence as the founder and chairman of NASPRS, a global media and internet conglomerate. Becker began his career as a chartered accountant after studying economics and accounting at the University of Pretoria. In 1985, he entered the media industry as the financial director of NASPRS. Under Becker's leadership, NASPRS grew from a small magazine and newspaper publisher in South Africa to a massive media conglomerate with extensive holdings in print, television, and online media around the world. 4. The Matsbe Family $3.3 billion Patris Matsib is the founder of African Rainbow Capital, a private equity firm. He was born in Johannesburg, South Africa in 1962 and raised in Soweto. He received his first law degree from the University of Swaziland, followed by another from the University of the Witwatersrand in Johannesburg. He began his career as a corporate lawyer before shifting his focus to entrepreneurship. Matsi founded African Rainbow Minerals in 1994, a mining company that quickly rose to prominence in South Africa. His success propelled him to billionaire status in 2008, making him the first black African to appear on Forbes' billionaire list. 3. The Weiss Family $5.4 billion Christoph Weiss, a South African billionaire born in 1941 in Robertson, Western Cape, 
has made significant contributions to retail and investment in his home country. He graduated from Stellenbosch University with a law degree and co-founded the retail behemoth PEPCOR in the 1970s, growing it into a multi-billion dollar enterprise. Wies was the CEO of PEPCOR until 1999, and he retained a significant stake in the company until its acquisition by Steinhoff International in 2014. Apart from retail, Wies had an impact on the retail and consumer goods sectors in South Africa as an investor. He invested in other companies, such as Invicta Holdings and Breit, as the largest individual shareholder in ShopRite, a local grocery chain. Wies was well known for his philanthropy, particularly in education, and he made significant contributions to a number of South African universities and schools. 2. The Oppenheimer Family $8.7 billion Nikki Oppenheimer, born in Johannesburg in 1945, comes from a wealthy family and is best known as the chairman of De Beers, the world's largest diamond company. He studied philosophy, politics, and economics at Charterhouse School and Christ Church, Oxford. Oppenheimer became chairman of De Beers in 1998 and led the company to global prominence until it was acquired by Anglo-American in 2012. His leadership increased the firm's dominance in the diamond industry and global market presence. Despite his current residence in London, he maintains strong ties to South Africa and remains a prominent and influential figure in the country. 1. The Rupert Family $9.1 billion Johann Rupert is a billionaire businessman from South Africa. He was born in Stellenbosch, South Africa in June 1950 and is the youngest son of the late Anton Rupert, a well-known South African businessman and philanthropist. Rupert's father founded the Rembrandt Group, which grew to become one of South Africa's largest multinational corporations. Rupert has broadened his business interests over the years and is now the chairman of Comperdani Financier Richman, a luxury goods company that owns several high-end brands such as Cartier, Dunhill, and Montblanc. In addition, he serves as the chairman of Rengro, a South African investment holding company. He and his family live in Stellenbosch, South Africa, and he is widely regarded as the country's wealthiest individual. What do you think about the 15 richest families in South Africa? Let us know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed the video and are interested in knowing more about the continent, then like and subscribe to TR Media. Turn on notifications so you get notified whenever we upload new educational content like this. Thank you for watching and see you in our next video.